dollar yen is we've been it's the very first thing okay my long-term session that I do on a Monday and on the first Monday of the year I said right dollar yen keep an eye on the dollar yen for the opportunity okay now this dollar yen Here's the 95 low. Okay. Remember what I was saying with the the earthquake in 95 that was then followed by intervention, and we had look, we fell into this and rallied out. Okay, it's a weekly chart. We fell in and rallied out, supported by intervention in the G7 and we didn't stop until 125. We had a pullback in an uptrend then we carried on to 145. Now, we've got to be aware of that. We're not going to start making predictions that that's going to happen again, but we certainly have to be aware of it. And we have to be aware of it within this, within this price action from over the last couple of weeks. At the very least, we would expect that a floor has been made in this dollar yen. If we were suspecting of this, I said the yen index is inversed. Volatility is declining, declining, declining. This is a coiling pattern. We expect a big move from the coiling. In this instance, we had it down. Intervention back in within three or four days. We're back in to our range of consolidation between 81.12 and 84.50. The is this high this is a failure to make a new low this is the first structure Remember, we then consolidate, wash in rally out, the high this momentum low here made here is okay, this standout low where the buying came in 84.83 that level is Friday we rallied up, we you know we were above 84.50, we touched the nearly the 84.83 and just pulled back off the high. That's what we want to see. Okay, the buyers haven't been exhausted. If this was squeezed up to the high, um, the buyers would have looked exhausted. This is a nice close. We've had some strong buying in here and. I want to remind you why I showed the dollar index originally that the dollar index we want to be watching re this currency pair we want to be cognizant of the dollar index activity we want to be cognizant of the activity in the dollar index okay Digby um, Let's take a quick glance then. Here's the dollar index. There's your 95 low, there's your dollar index. Pull back and then, so that answers your question. Yes. Now we have we have to watch this with excitement and our bias the upside. Um, we have two ref
reference points just above the price action, the 84.50 and the 84.83. The first structure is the 84.50, the second, okay, we're going to take the 84.83 as the structural long. Structural long is 84.83. Structural short, well, structural short is a very, uh, very difficult one because there's no real because with this with this scenario here, um, we have to take. We've really got to take this the structure that has has been given us some price action within the consolidating pattern and that has to be the 8288 is the point which is Bank of Japan 8284 um, and the market has you know it's it's right smack bang through the middle of this consolidation so 82 8288 is a structural short um, I don't like it as a short um, a lot more needs to happen in this Structural short, um, but for the purposes of this exercise, that's what it'd be 8288. 200 tick then. Just one sock in great the gift line if everyone saw one. Um, this is going to be. Easy. What's our long? 84.83, obviously. Remember, 84.83 is the structure. Um, we have, we're having this. We're seeing this. Um, we're seeing this happen a lot in these yen pairs, aren't we? The just. Okay, this as a short term long, um, if you're looking for an earlier entry. short then not very obvious um, obviously you've got the opening range to consider uh, shorting on this but Stands out as a as a as a short uh, on this two hundred tick really. Um, for a momentum high uh, in order to move up. I'd be looking for a momentum high in this move up as a as a level to potentially go go short. 
thought we've had a few little structures here but haven't really haven't really sold off very much. Um, the first momentum high in the uptrend here is references uh, coincides actually happens to coincide with the bottom of the opening range in the US. That's I'm gonna plump for that. It's as good as any. It's came back and was respected here. That's your short. Short term short, if you like, is 83, 74. Um, now, it's too wide for a stop, probably. So, if you're going long at the 84.50, your long stop, and there's a lot, you know, a lot can happen in between you've got the opening range is to stop obviously and it's but you know as, as far as those of you that haven't um, technically speaking you're if you don't want to have your stop at the sell point it's going to be um, it's going to be 34 so your long stop is 84 and you're only so you're still you know you're accommodating your 50 pip sorry your short stop short at 8374 um, it's tricky this because we had a pullback from the highs and we're void of any obvious price structure in this area um, these stops are a little bit stop could be a one day high but that's the one day high is miles away um, those of you that you know, are trading the the system obviously the stop's going to be outside of the range but technically speaking I think we're going to have to go we'll go the other side we're going to go the other side of the of this market side of these two highs here we're going to go um, 84.30 is the short stop okay 84.30 